So then uh, scheduling, which is a headache, obviously, you know. Yeah. Uh, so right here, this will show all of your um, clients for the week. You can also look at the view for the month like this and then see everybody that you have coming up what, when the sessions are. Um, you can also come here and then see them this way. You can manually schedule somebody if you need to. Um, let's just say Jane Smith. We want to schedule her. You can pick the time zone, the day, time, and then book appointment. And then obviously you can come up here to your settings and then you can customize the availability. So, you know, if you only allow sessions on Mondays and Tuesdays, you can select those and check off every other day. Um, and let's just say it's Monday. Uh, let's go. Monday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then you got a break. And then from 12, you know, to three or something like that. You can break it up based off of how you however your schedule looks. Cool. So yeah, so that's that piece. Uh, so those are really useful. And then you can also allow people to schedule. You can send them the link to your calendar and you can allow them to schedule based off of, you know, whenever they need to. And then they can also receive reminders. So as soon as they schedule, they are receiving a reminder two days before they receive a confirmation instantly through text and email so that they can see that session. Then two days before the session, they'll receive a reminder. And then roughly four hours before the session, they'll receive a text message and email reminder. So oh, cool, cool. keeping them on point, they need to reschedule, they can do so.